everyone, today I've got your selfless movie review. The billionaire discovers that he has cancer and he goes to this one place where they are able to trans transfer your body or I guess your subconscious or soul into another person's body and it's just, you know, really crazy, uh, that whole process until he finds out that when he's put inside this younger body, then he's getting all of that person's memories and having to basically live this new life. As far as the story goes, this movie is directed by Tarsem Sen, who I think is pretty uh, brilliant at coming up with uh, interesting storylines and as far as visual effects go, um, makes it look like a painting on screen. Now, however, this movie seems completely out of his element when you have this concept that I actually found to be pretty interesting, though in the end it came out to be this generic uh, science fiction film that I feel like we've already seen before. I mean, transporting bodies, what is this, Avatar? Uh, transporting a subconscious, what is this, Inception? I just feel like it's kind of unoriginal in that aspect, but it does leave me to be entertained uh, because of everything that's going on and it seems to be kind of mysterious and it's almost this like uh, race against time trying to figure out like how are we going to get away from all these people who are after you. It's really got this uh, interesting cast and however um, Ben Kingsley has a small role in this movie in the beginning is uh, where his character who has cancer and he's got a daughter and he's this businessman and everything just sort of goes downhill in his case and you know he's a pretty brilliant actor and seeing him in this movie, I feel like it's very different, and I wouldn't say it was the best choice for him to make, but he was replaced as the younger uh, person, Ryan Reynolds, who um, plays the same character but just in a younger body, and he has to deal with, you know, basically resurrecting himself and discovering that he's got a wife and a daughter, and um, it's just... It's a really uh, weird concept for me to grasp uh, in this movie, and I wouldn't say that it was pulled off completely well, uh, though I feel like it just went by way too fast. There's just so much going on. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is on the run and he's trying to figure out, okay, uh, is there a way to reverse this process again? Um, or is he just going to be stuck in this body where he's encountering all sorts of, like, issues in his mind? He's seeing all these memories that he hasn't had before. So he's basically becoming this new person, and he's basically forgetting, or going to be forgetting, who he originally was. Matthew Good, who plays the bad guy in this movie, he's the guy that runs that whole, um science-y lab thing, and I think it's a pretty decent actor too. He's pretty awesome at playing uh, this evil character that you really don't want to mess with, but he comes off as not as intimidating as he should. When uh, Ryan Reynolds comes to encounter him, uh, you know something's about to go down. Ryan Reynolds having to deal with this new family, the one chick that's in this movie, and, you know, she seems pretty cool as well, uh, but I wouldn't say, like, her acting was very good in this movie. The things that I did like about this movie, I loved the whole concept of the movie. It seemed like it could have had potential to um, at least turn out well, but it just didn't uh, completely sell it for me, and it just felt like all these similar science fiction-y themes that I've already seen before. Overall, I would say that Selfless was 
maybe not the greatest movie that I've seen. It could have had potential. I really don't know exactly what was wrong with it or what could have been different or better. Maybe it had to do with the writing or uh, I wouldn't say like the acting was decent at best. Um, but I feel like just the overall concept made the whole movie fall flat in the end. I would recommend checking out seeing this movie. I'm really on the fence about this movie, guys, so you guys see it, you know, at your own risk. But I would give this three and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of Selfless. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come pick up a week for a Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.